Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today is the 15th of April and I'm talking today about the Narcissus Bulbocodium Conspicuus. Uh, this uh, is uh, a very peculiar uh, daffodil, very different from the ones I usually grow. Uh, this uh, is a species um, very very peculiar. Uh, daffodils in the group of Bulbocodium are also called uh, petticoat uh, daffodils uh, due to the fact that the corona is so huge in comparison to the perianth, the six uh, tepals, that uh, makes almost uh, indeed a, a petticoat uh, like uh, basically a skirt, a skirt uh, on the uh, flower um, tube yeah basically you see that the flower that is tubular uh, ends up with this very very large corona and the sides of the uh, actual tepals are almost negligible uh, this is uh, a very unique in the daffodils group where usually the perianth is uh, um, at least about the same size if not uh, larger than the uh, than the cup uh, I think the trumpet daffodils have a corona that might be actually uh, larger than the perianth in some cases but never becomes uh, basically uh, three or four times larger than the uh, perianth in trumpet daffodils is usually slightly larger and uh, um, more than larger actually longer than the perianth the tepals in trumpet daffodils anyway uh, are uh, still uh, long enough to be clearly seen um, out of the corona here in the bulbocodium you see uh, basically uh, almost just the corona and uh, the tepals look like uh, basically rays of the sun it actually uh, uh, to be honest they really look like a sun with some rays a bit like children uh, draw the sun when in their childhood uh, drawings or in our childhood drawings really because we have all been children at some point in uh, life um, talking about uh, this daffodil again like all daffodils belongs to the species uh, to the um, uh, genus Narcissus and the family Amarillidase and this species in particular the Bulbocodium is native to uh, Europe in particular France, Spain and Portugal uh, it is you can see a very very small plant uh, in my case it's about 10 centimeters uh, tall but uh, can reach 15 centimeters uh, tall at the uh, very uh, most most uh, the leaves are a kind of grass shaped a little bit rounder at the end not pointed as grass but really you can see with the grass growing around in my allotment how similar are the leaves to uh, grass the um, daffodil blooms in um, early to mid spring uh, in the United Kingdom so today's mid uh, uh, we are in the middle of April the 15th of April precisely mid of April and uh, um, you can see uh, I have as two spent flowers but uh, however there are still uh, there is still one to be open and uh, um, I've seen uh, no, no other buds at the moment, but uh, these uh, um, plants are actually still emerging, so they might flower later in the season. Uh, anyway, the uh, I think uh, I said to do the video today because I think it is the uh, best flower display uh, I can get uh, in the pot. Uh, Narcissus bulbocodium subspecies uh, bulbocodium varietas conspicuus. Uh, I found some sources that should have pretty pale yellow flowers but to me this uh, um, daffodil looks uh, very intense yellow so I'm not sure if it is uh, still a conspicuous or is just a normal bulbocodium however I really love this beautiful uh, bright yellow color and this huge corona as well about the fragrance is actually 
uh, the fragrance is very very pleasant it is a pity that is also very light you really need to smell the fra the flower uh, to put the nose in the corona but it's very sweet uh, so sweet that reminds me of candies um, the only two flowers that I can compare the fragrance of this daffodil to are Polygala Purple Passion and the um, Philadelphus Maculatus Mexican Jewel so these are plants that are completely unrelated to this daffodil uh, or well all plants are related to each other but uh, if they are related but very 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 distantly they don't even belong to the family Amarilli does uh, and I'm not too sure actually if they belong to any uh, closer uh, group closer taxon of the family Amarilli does uh, however the, the smell is so sweet uh, that really reminds me candies if you ever smelt uh, Polygala Purple Passion or Philadelphus Mexican Jewel uh, this is the fragrance I would really compare to if not the what I can really compare to is like uh, like um, fruity candies like the smell that you a bit like the smell that uh, you the scent that you and yeah the scent that you smell when you enter in a candy shop uh, this is probably the closest I can get to describe the fragrance of this daffodil however again the daffodil this fragrance is very very light um, I don't think you can actually smell it unless you really put uh, the nose into the corona at least I can't otherwise so I really can't recommend this daffodil for fragrance in the garden but I can definitely recommend it because of the uniqueness of the flower it is a gorgeous uh, plant uh, it is also not very rare uh, I found it uh, for sale uh, I'm not too sure uh, if uh, um, it was the varietes conspicuous but uh, I found uh, Narcissus bulbocodium uh, um, other varieties uh, um, pretty easily in uh, garden centers sometimes even in uh, supermarkets if they have a nice section of uh, garden bulbs and uh, of course you can buy it online buy it in line quite uh, easily uh, this is a plant that uh, gained the Royal, so uh, Royal Horticultural Society of Garden Merit and uh, like uh, all my other daffodils uh, I grow it uh, in well drained soil and in full sun um, this uh, is uh, a variety that is uh, pretty hardy uh, it is not as cold sensitive as tazet many tazettas but it's not as uh, um, frost tolerant uh, as uh, for example uh, large capped daffodils uh, or uh, uh, trumpet daffodils uh, in uh, my notes uh, I found that uh, the source all the sources I have uh, consulted about Narcissus bulldocodium state that this daffodil is hardy uh, in USDA 6 to 9 so if you live in a very very cold area this daffodil might not be suitable for you or anyway if you want to grow it you can grow it indoors in a greenhouse house or a conservatory and will be absolutely uh, great of course this daffodil uh, makes a great rockery species it's pretty small and uh, otherwise you can easily plant it in the front border uh, like all daffodils uh, this plant is dormant in summer so it grows between autumn and spring and the spring in late spring the leaves die down and the only uh, living part of the plant will be the bulb underground um, as usual I hope that you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching if you like this video would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you like this video and other videos on my channel would be great if you can please subscribe it is completely free for you uh, but in this way uh, you uh, promote my channel on the YouTube platform thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time bye